Got a fucking chronicle. Be me, Lieutenant Corporal Chucklefuck in 29 Palms for ITX early 2020, just before COVID took off. Get sent to Road Guard, a small unit made up of shitbags, fresh boots, salty lances, and other undesirables from every other unit participating. Shenanigans galore. Guy crafted a flamethrower with a tent pole duct tape monster can and a jet boil. Every night we had story time, where some dude lit a small torch telling us green texts from X. Even the NCOs allow it. Great time, even when having to post up in the middle of the fucking desert. To give a bit of context, the duty was basically have some dudes posted by intersections of the various and isolated dirt roads through the sandbox. Post was usually four days on with two to three marines per post to radio slash ferry all traffic while the ranges were hot slash cold. This was to prevent people from accidentally wandering downrange during exercises which involved sniper fire, mortars, artillery, and aircraft munitions. We even got commended by a full bird of courageous actions because of a post radioed a ceasefire for an active arty shoot because a van full of Sodexo chowtards just blew past the checkpoint without stopping, unknowingly driving down range. When we weren't on post, we were allowed to basically chill the fuck out in the hooches. However, one fateful day, shit went fucking bonkers. Be me. Chilling in hooch with buds. One day, one of the dudes I came into the unit with, we'll call him Daxter. He comes in the hooch, shook as fuck. Apparently his roommate that stayed in the rear back in Pendleton ratted him out to the command. Apparently Rat had broken into his locked closet to steal his gear and give to his buds and came across a fuck ton of contraband. Weed, dope, ammo, loaded Mac-10. Holy shit, what the fuck, dot Jif? Battalion knows. They explicitly told his platoon not to let Daxter know. His buds in the platoon find out and tell him anyways. He's in a slight panic, but calms down eventually. Eventually, a week goes by and nothing happens. We all figure he'll just get punished once we're back in Pendleton. ITX ends in about two weeks anyways. Come Friday morning, we do roll call as usual. One at 0600, one at 1800. We all muster. Daxter in the green on green tracksuit as usual. Go about the day lounging around. Jim, PX, and utilizing the Jack Shack located in an isolated part of Camp Wilson for no apparent reason. Come 1800 roll call, Daxter. Lieutenant Corporal Daxter. Here, somebody mutters it for him before everyone turns around to physically see if he's here. Nobody cares. Continue chilling with buds. 2100. One of them snuck some Benadryl for people that wanted to experience the trips. Three dudes agree. Damn, where's Daxter? I know he wouldn't want to miss this shit. We all realize that besides the morning, we haven't seen him all day. No way. Y'all don't think he. We all scurry. Six of us split up wondering all of Camp Wilson looking and asking around for him. Let one of the corporals know. Oh fuck. Look, it's 2130. If we can't find him by 22, we'll go let, as if on cue, the staff sergeant and first lieutenant in charge of us pass by our tent fast as fuck. Full camis and head straight to the BNHQ tent. Welp.mp3? Whole camp goes on lockdown with Daxter's platoon combing the entire fucking area for him. His TL comes and interrogates me since I knew him. Threatens hell if I'm lying. Bruh, on my mama, dot gif. Nothing. Next morning got briefed by staff sergeant and first lieutenant. Check Snapchat. Single story from Daxter. Where's Gary? With a low res pic of Gary from Spongebob. The son of a bitch did it, dot jpg. Forgot to mention that while the search was commencing, we had to hide the three dudes tripping absolute balls off the Benny. Funnily enough, we all thought, lol, let's ask the guy higher than a kite if he can see. Daxter. Oh, blessed and guided one, we come to you in search of truth. What is it that you wish to find? Where is our compatriot? Where is Daxter? Does some weird shit with his hands while lying down. Eyes closed. Big gasp of air. Eyes opened as if God graced him. Where is he, foreteller? 
We're all giggling like retards. He, Daxter Pendleton. He is back in Pendleton. Chuckling fucking stops. Are you sure? He just left his room. All I see is what he sees. He now stares at the concrete, his eyes averting. Dude comes down and passes the fuck out. Shit you not, a week later, barracks duty caught him before our battalion had finished ITX. Before he got sent to the brig, he was basically on house arrest in the barracks. I got to ask him what the fuck happened. Get to talk to Daxter while we're still prepping to go on deployment. Rona panic is now in full swing, so Daxter's paperwork is bogged down. Basically on house arrest in barracks. Chill with him one night, he tells the tale. Apparently the moment he found out he'd been ratted out, he started planning. So he began taking out max amount of money from ATM in Wilson. Every single day. The final day arrives. The night prior, he packed some civvy clothes into a PX plastic bag. After morning roll call, he took the shuttle to the PX. Side note, Staff Sergeant and First Sergeant allowed for us to take the shuttle to Mainside if we gave him the five W's and made sure to be back by evening roll call. Again, Road Guard was the most skate shit. It could rival the fucking X Games. He gets on shuttle in his green on green tracksuit and his PX bag of clothes. Gets to the main side PX. Changes into civvies. Flags a taxi down. Tells him to take him to the nearest Greyhound bus station. Okay. Gets there and feels euphoric. Apparently, I can go fucking anywhere I want. Decides he'll make cash slinging dope in LA. Apparently, he does and makes double the total amount he pulled out from the ATM. Eventually, business has him go down near Oceanside. For those who don't know, it's a military coastal town rectally attached to the south of Camp Pendleton. Apparently, shacks up with some homeless lady. Apparently, a deal goes sideways. He dips in the nick of time as PD show up. He ducked into an alleyway. Almost got away when some waitress or whatever that was taking out the trash opens the door. She screamed because he startled her by accident. PD comes down to see the commotion. Pads him down. Finds stuff. Apparently cop was also marine. Look kid, I'ma take you back on base because right now, you'd go to prison for a long time. I'll let your unit sort it out. Takes him on base. Tells gate guards he just found him passed out drunk. Just gonna drop him off in front of the duty hut. Mind you, he is AWOL status and was declared possibly armed and dangerous. MP were to hold him at gunpoint if found. Dagster has his shirt over his head. MPs allow the cop through because he had his vet card or some shit. Didn't bother to really get a good look at him. Officer pulls right up to barracks. Tells him, all I want to see is you walk into the duty hut. I'ma drive off after that. And what happens next, I don't know. Gets out. Walks into duty hut. Mind you, this was a newly built barracks with a separate duty hut that was like a small conference building. It had a main lobby that led to a back meeting room on the side. Walking straight, you would enter the attached laundry room, and from the laundry room was another door that led outside. He walks across the lobby. He hears the cop pull off. Literally was about to turn the knob to the laundry. Hey, hey, corporal, I think that's the guy. Huh? Whatever. Hey, fucker, get over here. Holy shit, get the fuck on the ground, bitch. I guess my summer vacation is over, dot mp3. The fucked up part was BN Commander was just gonna give him a BN level NJP for the possession of shit. This escalated it to full dishonorable discharge. Moral of the story, padlock your shit, hide the good shit, and beat the fuck out of your rat roommate.